He actually was in the priesthood at one time, and we got to talking about uh, all the local churches being Catholic, and uh, I had asked if he had seen the cathedral with all the changes, and he said no, he would love to, but never got a chance to do it. And so that was uh, how it kind of got started. I thought, well, this is very small, but maybe we can make this happen. Uh, not only did he get to go to the cathedral, they also, uh, his son and daughter, were able to go with him. And they had a gift card to a local restaurant here in Springfield, and so they also all got to go out to eat. When I walked in his room, he was all dressed up in his finery, and, and I said, well, how'd your day go? And he just smiled and just said, thank you. He just kept saying thank you for such a small gift. You know, it, it wow, what, what, uh, he, he was just so thankful. The volunteer was getting to know him, and one day he had a paper in front of him, and she asked if she, could read him the paper and he told her I don't really read the paper I just like to look at the car ads and so they talked about that and explored you know what is it he was looking at and he told her he loved to look at the Cadillacs he always wished he had bought himself a Cadillac and he never did the car dealership locally they donated the car and the time and the driver and that was awesome. As the car pulled up and he got to see that red Cadillac, brand new red Cadillac, all the bells and whistles, he got as close as he could in his little wheelchair to that car and he went around the whole car inspecting every corner. Um, he came back to the nursing home and it was like celebrity status. He got to talk about it for weeks and he was just so thrilled. He loved every minute of it. He, he was still with us for three months after, and it was something that he loved to talk about with all of us that were involved with him for that time. It, it was very special. It was a good day. He was a funny guy. You know, he had a good sense of humor. He, lit, he was born and raised here in Springfield. He um, drove a truck some and he worked on computers there before he died. It was a couple of months before he passed away. He um, and I was talking about maybe going on a, a, you know, a short trip or something with his kids, something he could do one more time with his kids. Um, we just got to thinking and I, I mentioned, why don't we go to Branson? One of the main things he wanted to do was uh, watch his kids have a good time swimming. He wanted to ride a go-kart so you know I thought well that's okay it's a good place to go then all the way down there he talked about the go-karts he talked about watch these kids swim um, that's all he needed you know he he was weak towards the end of his life and we was there three or four days I think and that's all he could take um, but it was enough he didn't care it was enough he was with his kids you know and he got to do something he wanted to do so he, he was happy to see somebody at the end of their life light up like that. Uh, it's priceless.